Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. What an amazing morning. I just woke up and I have seen that we have reached 2000 subscribers. Thank you very much for your support my friends. We have now already been in this boat together since almost two years and we already have 2000 subscribers. This is really amazing my friends. Thank you very much for your support. So make sure that you're staying within this boat also in the future because our target is to reach the moon and we definitely are very, very close to get there. So thank you again very much for your support, my friends, and also stay tuned in here because it is a very nice crypto channel and also we have a very great crypto family also over on Discord. So make sure to not only subscribe here to this channel, but also follow me over on Twitch and also Discord. And now my friends, let's have a look what is going on here in the Bitcoin price because we had here this breakout to the downside from this consolidation wedge that we have seen here in the last couple of days. And as I told you, my friends, it was very likely that we're going to see here a correction at least towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame. And if here we will not see a bounce, then we most likely are going to reach our final target down here between 16 to 14 thousand dollar. And here in the four hour, you can see that we have an initial bounce here at the 200 moving average here at $17,500. This is also what I was expecting to happen in order to have maybe a chance for the bulls to see here another retest of this area here at around $18,700. So this correction to this moving average was expected. Now, of course, is the question, is this already it with the dump or are we going to see continuation here towards our main bearish targets? Because the problem is that we still have here on the CME chart this little gap open down to $17,000 and here on the CMEs we didn't test yet the 200 moving average. So I think it is very likely that on the spot charts we're gonna see here continuation to the downside potentially below the 200 moving average to test maybe here the $16,000 area and maybe here create a double bottom formation that of course is possible but if we are going to create a lower low so lower than 16,150 I think it is very likely that we're gonna visit again this $15,000 maybe even 14,000 before we're gearing up here for another big leg to the upside so what we need is just time so stay calm relax and wait till we're gonna see again bullish formations so we can scale in nice long positions and also buy into bitcoin me personally i gonna start to buy in at around 17 to 16 thousand dollar down to 14 thousand dollar but of course you have to decide yourself where you want to enter the dip is now here we are dropping so make sure to dca back into bitcoin with all the profits or fiat that you have now on the sideline and if we have a look here into the rsi and also into my own indicator you see that we still have a little bit of room left to the downside even though it is possible that here in the next couple of hours or maybe even till tomorrow we're gonna get the buy signal here but so far nothing has flashed so the momentum is still shifted to the downside and we should expect resistance here at around 18,570 if we are able to push higher here towards these moving averages which are now above of us. So the only support that we have currently is the 200 moving average. I'm expecting here to trade sideways between the 20 moving average here at around $18,600 and here this $17,600 at the 200 moving average before we're going to see here continuation to the downside most likely only if we are able to close again for our candles above $19,000 I think we should be good to go again to the upside and potentially break 20k but if we are staying in this area here trading sideways or maybe even drop lower towards $16,000 I think it is clear that we are in this correction that could take us even lower because if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that yesterday we had a close below the 20 daily moving average so below $18,000 $600 and even if today we are coming up to this price level and don't close a daily candle above $18,600 I'm afraid that this is the confirmation that now we are in a downtrend and we should expect the price at least to reach here the $16,400 this is where the 50 daily moving average is lining up and also our next FIB level with this top that we had here at 20 
thousand. You can see that all the money flow is coming down and although the RSI right now is in a very critical point, we are now touching the 50 level in the RSI. In theory, we should see a big bounce from it, but if we are dropping below and also close the daily candle below the 50 level, I'm afraid that we will see this huge correction that we were waiting now for a very long time. And if we go over into the Bollinger Bands, here you can see that we are still within the channel, so we could drop even down towards 17,250 and we will still remain within this Bollinger Band in the daily. The problem here is only that all the indicators are shifted to the downside now, so it is also very possible that we are going to overshoot it to the downside. But if we are able to recover and close daily candles at least within this Bollinger Band channel, then we should be good to go to the upside and the correction then maybe is over. And now we can open up also the weekly time frame because here you can see the nine weekly moving average and this is my first target where I'm gonna start to buy again a Bitcoin here at $16,100 because usually during an uptrend Bitcoin likes to test the nine weekly moving average and if we fall below this price level then the 20 weekly moving average right at $13,500 should hold as a very strong support. So I don't expect the price to go lower than that. I'm even not expecting that we have necessarily to go that low towards the 20 weekly moving average. But of course it makes very much sense to see the price having a healthy correction towards this important moving average and then have a big bounce from it. I think it is more likely that we are going to bottom out somewhere here between $16,000 to $15,000 because this was also our previous channel here with the main resistance currently at around $15,000 and now it should be acting as a new support. So I don't think that we have to go necessarily down to $14,000 but of course it makes very much sense that we are going down to test this moving average because if we have a Fibonacci retracement from the bottom that we had here at $4,000 up to $20,000 you can see that we have a 0.382 fib line right here the 20 weekly moving average at 14,000 and even if we would do a Fibonacci retracement from the last dip that we had down here at $9,800 up to the top that we currently had this gives us a 0.618 fib line of around $14,000 also perfectly coinciding with this fib line over here right at $14,000 so everything comes back to this price level and that's why I will go all in again between $14,000 to $16,000 I will just DCA down here as soon as we're reaching these price levels because with this drop we could initiate a possible bigger correction also because here in the weekly time frame you can see that we had a sell signal not only in the RSI but also in my own indicator we were very overbought and it looks like that right now we're gonna see this major correction which also in the past like we had here acted always as a good indicator of a major dump and I think we're gonna see potentially towards the end of the week these targets reached only if we are able again to close daily candles above the 20 daily moving average then I think this correction might be denied and we will just continue to go again to the upside but as it is right now it looks like that the correction is started and we should keep an eye on these price targets because I don't think that Bitcoin will go lower than that so don't wait again for 10k 8k or whatever make sure that you can accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible in these price ranges down here because Bitcoin is in a confirmed bull run and we have seen also in the past that every time we had a major correction in the Bitcoin price during a bull run we always came down to important Fibonacci retracements and also to these two important moving averages here in the weekly the nine weekly MA right at $16,000 and of course yet $14,000 the 20 weekly moving average because Bitcoin is in a bull run make sure to not panic sell or anything like that take all these tips as a very good buy entry especially if you are subscribed to this channel our target is to go to the moon and not to go panic sell or FOMO in once we are already at the moon. So this is my recommendation for you my friends if the price is coming down to these levels try to accumulate as much as possible and I think probably we will have enough time to buy Bitcoin at these stages towards the end of the week maybe even next week we're gonna see it is also possible that once we're reaching these price levels down here that we're just starting to trade sideways and then as soon as we have a bullish formation we're going to break out again to the 
upside but this is what we're gonna have to see once we're reaching these price levels down here and don't forget that if you want to long or short bitcoin you can do that over on bybit or femex for example all the links are down below here in the video description and right now for all the coinbase users we also have a new band protocol and compound giveaway so you can just click on these invitation links down below here to claim those free altcoins but only if you're using coinbase this is only valid for coinbase users so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if something crazy is going on later i will update you over on discord or also over on twitch if i'm in the office also feel free if you have any kind of questions to leave it down here in the comment section or contact me over on discord and by the way discord is also the place where you can get my own buy and sell indicator for bitcoin so thank you again very much for your support for all these years my friends and let's stick together till the end here we are all in the same boat so make sure to be subscribed here in this channel and also stay here forever thank you again for watching and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye